Welcome back everyone. Shard Hunter session 72. We whew, it has been an interesting journey <laughs> already. I can't wait to get into this episode. We um just so everyone knows, as you can see, uh Hatala and Eve are no, not with us this week as me and Adep were not with them last week. So what we're going to do is going to do a little split sode uh for the time being, but I know nothing of what happened last week, and we're going to find out where this adventure takes us. I'm going to turn this over to the GM, so please take it away. All right. All right. Last, last week, week everyone, everyone in the, in the main, main group, group went on an adventure, adventure but Dita and, and Core were, were missing, missing, and now, now we're, we're going to find, find out what happened, happened while, while they, were they were gone. gone. So, so Core, Core, you, you are, having are having a dream. A dream. You, you don't, don't know, know what's, what's going, going on. on. All you, All you know is something, something was calling, calling you, and you, and you felt, felt like you had, you had to follow. follow. So, so in your dream, dream you just follow along, along and, then and then all of a sudden, you wake, you wake up. up. You're in the, You're in middle, the middle of the ruins, ruins of the town. Need it is in front, front of you, looking, looking very concerned, concerned and you, you have, have no, no clue where, where you are. are. It's, it's sun, sun up. What'd you do, Nadep? What did I do? Why am I here? Talking for the last five minutes, minutes and you just stared blankly, blankly out, out, out of nothing. nothing. What are you, what are what you are doing, doing out here? here? Did you dress me? This is... Why, I, why, I, why, I have yeah, my camp gear. Right, why am I fully armored? And why I are we ready? ready? I'm, I'm I was, pretty I was sure you did this. You did this like some kind of... No, no, This is like a sleepwalking spell or something you did on me. Why would I waste a daily spell slot? Sorry, sorry. You may have cast it last night from your previous spell slots. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you're just so, so excited uh, to have spell slots again, and you can actually cast it, it, spells. That, 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 is, that true. is true. But but still, still there's, there's more, more fun things, things to throw fireballs, fireballs at than, 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 than just, just you know, you're yeah. throwing fireballs at me. No, 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 no. no. Well, well that, that's, that's all. That's the point. point. I was, I was about, about to go and check out, go do some prospecting, but but I saw you were armored up and just kind of wandering off. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I feel something in this direction. Let's walk. Let's walk this way real quick. I uh, I just. Yeah, all right. I'll follow. Y'all are navigating, navigating through, through the rubble, rubble and, and your, your sensation, sensation is almost, almost guiding, guiding you through, through the best path. path. You know, it's, it's not, not a straight, straight line, line feeling. feeling. It's, it's almost, almost like, like the feeling, feeling wants, wants to be, to be found. found. It's, it's different, different when you normally, normally feel, something. feel something. Normally, normally it's, like it's like a compass, compass where it kind of kind of pulls you in a direction. direction. This, this time, time like, like you walk, walk down, down a corridor, corridor and, then and then the feeling will suddenly, suddenly shift, shift as the path shifts. shifts. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, this this alley. We got to go this way. All right, all right. This, oh, you you start, start noticing one of the one things, things that's that been common, common throughout the entire city. Uh, Kingdom, Kingdom of Warm, Warm is, not is not very deep, deep below the ground. ground. It, it transitions into lava, lava. and, and that's, that's why they, all the foundations are fairly shallow, shallow and they, they use the lava for a lot of their, their heating and other, other resources. resources. But, but you, you notice in the area you're in, in there, there seems, seems to be a lot, a lot of rocky outcroppings. That uh, the city has been ruined and blasted and broken, and as the dirt has been shifted away, you can see that there is a good chunk of basalt and other rock coming up from deeper underground. Hmm. Okay, what do you what do you make of this? And it's still guiding you. This is, Phil Mel pointed the direction in the dough. What do you what is your take on this? What do you mean about take on this? You've been just kinda of like wandering aimlessly. Ah, yeah, oh, yeah, it, like, details. I, details. I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling a, a pool. I'm feeling a pool and this it's been okay. guiding me. That's why I've been making these turns. But uh, as you can see here, the salt's kind of weird. But I mean, I guess we could take a closer look at it, see if uh, I can tell anything about the formation. Uh, you want to examine the formations? Sure. Yeah. Use your dwarven senses or whatever. I can't remember what we're all know that normally. Uh, I've got dwarven mining. Yeah, that works. power. Dormant mining will work. Twenty-eight. 
So I think I'm feeling something as well. Sorry, I was just announcing roles for. It's, yes, it's all good. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, let me know if my audio is not coming through because they have to do that for each scene. Okay. During the, as you're examining the basalt, you can tell this has come from deep underground, and this is a kind of basalt that normally appears in caverns. Caverns where magma has vacated. Okay, so like an old lava tube kind of situation? Uh, similar, yes. Does it look like we can okay. go through the tubes? You don't see any tubes, you just see outcroppings of basalt. Mm. Dude, it, but, feel, uh, it feels like it's pulling down though, right? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling of going and checking out that... Um, as well i think i think i am starting to feel it as well but i don't think i want to tell core that yet like <laughs> i want to play it as yeah we'll go check out your your crazy crazy idea okay all right as y'all travel further you notice a hole in one of the basalt mounds uh, i'd like to go take a look at that yeah definitely all right as you examine it, you can see that there are rails going into it where people have created a mine in this basalt. Okay. But your pull is not pulling you in that direction. Well, darn. Hmm. Don't, it's just All a right, mine. I, this, I, it's I not that way. It's well, not I'm that way. It's this way. way. Well, look. All right. All right. But if we go do this favor for you, you're going to help me go do this one later, yeah, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, mine. Right, right, I, I know how right. well the last one worked out, so. All right, y'all have been traveling for over an hour now, and you finally have start. It's it's midday. Y'all are getting hungry. Y'all take your snack and eat. And as you move along, you finally come to what looks like a bit of a larger cavern. Okay. The cavern has a strange, cold feeling to it, and both of you feel it almost like a shiver blowing through you as you look at the cavern. Oh. I'm not, I'm... But your pull is direct de is definitely pointing to that cavern. Hey, look, cavern. We should go check this out. Is it oh wait, is your thing pointing in the right same direction? I mean not that I'm feeling it too, but Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I, I think I'm starting to feel it as well. A, little... uh, a pull to that cavern. Getting uh some like some goose prickles. Uh, you you getting a little cold sensation? Of course not. I'm a dwarf. Oh, you? I've. Uh, it must be just a human thing. Don't worry. I'll. Yeah. I'll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll. I'll. I'll go first. Uh, you know. Suck it up. Let's go. <laughs> All right. As you approach the entrance of the cavern, you notice that there is a lot of strange rock formations at the entrance. Uh, like They're not something. basalt. They're a type of granite that you've not seen anywhere in Orm. Okay. Is it like it's pillars good. or any? Is it like uh, specific shapes or? Make perception checks. Ooh. Need it? You don't have a clue. They're rocks. Exactly. <laughs> Core, you notice that while the pillars are a little oddly shaped, the one thing that it looks like is it almost looks like there's an outline of a person in the pillar. Mm, this is what I was a little worried about. Um, does this remind me of the basilisk at all? Uh, no. Mm. So they're more like... This look like people. People shaped instead of like people encased in stone, like people. You'd have to statues. go up and examine them. Yeah, I'd like right. to investigate, like to see if they're maybe in a specific pose, like they're running away, or are they? Uh... What was that another perception? Yeah. It's a... No. I'm having a great time with my perception checks tonight. Maybe you're sleepwalking. <laughs> Nina and Cor examine the pillar, and 
core, the only thing you notice is that one of them, it's almost like the face has an angry leer in it. Hmm. Are they all facing the same direction? Uh, actually, they're up different. Oh. Most of them are facing it. A couple of them are facing away. Does it look they're holding weapons or just standing there? Um, I'll let you one more perception check each. Okay. You're dragging me down, Adept. <laughs> You're not very certain, but you do think that one of them may have been holding a pickaxe. Hmm, okay. Uh, it feels like we're being drawn deeper. Past you all are. That. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get... As, I'm going to have one hatchet ready. As you approach the mouth of the cavern, it's almost like a pulse runs from the cavern. And as the pulse goes down the wall, like, you know how like, you can imagine the pulse flowing down the wall? As it flows cracks in the wall glow orange for a second and then go back to being basalt. Almost like a wave of heat erupted out of it. Hmm. Did the the pool get stronger in, during that time frame? The pool went away during that time. Ooh. But after that pulse ended, you feel the pool a little stronger than before. Okay. I'm, uh, I've I've got no stealth. Pretty sure in it up, but you don't have much else either. All right. Um, you do smell heat. Fish. Lots of heat. Okay. All right. I'm uh, I'm down for going deeper. Sounds good. All right. As y'all go in a little bit, you begin to hear the sound of something skittering. And the waves of heat is actually getting to the point that, core, you are feeling a little uncomfortable with the heat because you've been dressed in winter wear so far. Um, it's getting hot enough that you're starting to sweat a lot. Can I take off my, my jacket and store it in my... Uh... The winter coat? Yeah, the winter coat stored in the bag of holding. Yeah. All right. When you take that off, your temperature drops, but it still feels hot. You're guessing it's easily 90 degrees at the mouth of this cavern. Mm. And outside, it's only like 50. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And with the sound of the skittering... You can almost swear you hear someone speaking Ignan inside. Ooh, can I try to focus in on that? You can't hear the words, they're too far away, but you can hear the sounds of someone speaking Ignan. Alright, I can I can And all need up in here is the sounds of fire. Alright. Can we uh go in deeper, kinda like falling along one wall just to Okay. You sneak a little further and up ahead, you see a couple of fire salamanders. Are, does it sound like the voices are coming from them? Yes. One of them is muttering, in, muttering words meaninglessly. Okay. You notice that one of them is just kind of sitting there looking at a rock, doing nothing, literally staring at a rock. The other one is wandering around in a circle around it, muttering meaningless phrases in Ignan. And there's a third one that seems to be laying in a corner, doing nothing but using the fire inside of its mouth to keep a rock hot and stare at it. Mm. Then occasionally he takes the rock, plays with it for a second, puts it down, and makes it hot again. Okay. Do we see... I don't want to make any advances yet. Um, the two of you most likely could handle them without any problems, but if they have any friends, you need more help. 
Yeah. We haven't seen anything else from the pulses. No, the pulse, it's not been very often. It's like, okay. It's hard to explain, but you feel that the pulse is building. Does it feel like the pool is coming from the salamanders or past the salamanders? Has it all been Deep. one, one Deep giant underground? So we do need to go past them. Yes. All right. Uh, the only thing you do notice the one that's muttering. As you listen to his mutterings, it's almost like some of the dreams you've had. He's saying some of the words from them. Mm. The times you were spoken to. Yes. It reminds you of those dreams, but he's saying individual words and he doesn't seem to cannot connotate meaning to them. All right. Um, give me a second. The... Trying to remember it. Burn, burn, burn. Uh, return what was many. One. It's kind of like that kind of a chanting. Almost. Yes, that kind of. Okay. It definitely Charles. feels. Oh yeah, sorry, Nadep. Here's what's going on. I kind of fill him in on the Ignin chat. It's a lot like the dream, and it's definitely Firestone, Fire Titan influence. Are these are fire well, salamanders. Yes, these are elemental creatures of fire. Okay. But you've you don't know of them very much, but most of the elemental creatures you've had contact with have been perfectly rational and sane. These all three of them seem off. Feel adept in all that. I, what do you want to? What do you want to try in adept? You want to? Me to try talking to him? Do you want to try to just yeah. go full board? You want to try to cut in and around? I mean, we don't want to cut into it. I'm gonna try and speak to them and see if they're. You know, ignorant. Well, I can speak with animals, so I'm assuming that I can at least communicate on a base level. I mean, if you want to try, go for it. They're elemental. Does it qualify them as an animal, though? I don't know if it does or doesn't. Well, I cast... I'll tell you, you cast it and see if you can listen and understand them before you talk. I think we lost Charles. <laughs> he's just staring. Maybe he's really, really <laughs> focused really in. Intent. He's like, what are we going to say next? He really wants to know. This was a very short session, guys. <laughs> I think he's gone. He is just staring holes into into us. Hmm. Everyone everyone do the Charles. I don't know what else to do, guys. <laughs> what other plans can we come up with? Hmm. Something well, we're gonna break. take our first break. So we got some fire salamanders, right? We do. Are, are you wanting to just kill stuff? Because, you know, why not draw the fight scene and all that fun stuff? Or are we going to just walk by them? I'm down for it just... feels like they were placed there on, on, put there on purpose, but... Yeah. I'm good with just trying to get around them and go. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm good with, uh, good with fighting. You know, I doubt fireballs are going... Oh, no! Oh okay. no, this has really messed everything up. Oh man, good. Oh, there we go. Jeff, you gotta sit taller to fit in frame. There you go. I, uh, ooh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. It froze. I'm looking for. We'll do this for the time being, and I will. Hmm. I will look. Our technical difficulty, son. We just have not been having very good luck with uh, technical difficulties the it's, last couple of weeks. It has weeks. been. Oh. 
My whole neighbor's neighborhood's power went out last time, so. <clears throat> well, the time before that, we had to do 18 because I didn't have the B team stuff. Yeah, could have like... made it up. Just, yeah, could have made your own uh, outline. Well, yeah, but I didn't have. It was like, oh, hey, I didn't get the stuff. Oh, hey, like, when we were about to do it. Let's go. All right. Oh, hey. Hey. I was in the middle of speaking, and all of a sudden, everything froze on my laptop for a second, and then nothing worked anymore. We uh. Do you remember? Do you remember where you were at? We we killed the all the fire um oh, salamanders while you were gone. <laughs> yeah. Came up with a really clever solution. <laughs> you 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 okayed it because that's that's yeah. you were great. Um. They're not animals, so you can't do that. Okay. Fine. I guess we try and go by them, and if they attempt to attack, we retaliate. Basically, fire salamanders are humanoid creatures. They're humanoid salamanders bigger than a person. And they're mostly made of fire. Oh. They're not actually living creatures. I was they're picturing just creatures. a big, fat salamander. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Orange with some flames like, coming generally, out. Generally, if you find them, they're usually playing around in lava. Hmm. Is there anything you wanted to say to him specifically, Nida? I can, I can give it a go. No, I just I was gonna attempt to communicate with them, and if they were cognizant enough to carry on a conversation, then attempt to. All right, I will. We're gonna walk by. I will attempt a conversation. I just I need you to remember that your fireball probably not the best spell if we have to get oh this a is a hydraulic push situation so oh, we need to get in You're a good. line all right look, look all right since we got the the tacticians over here see i watch you when, when we I, fight i'm and yes and like you that. too i i like your yeah. angles and the thought we you never do this before a battle you know I, so uh, all right so i've got a linear spell attack that I, that i can do this water based i will uh, not get in your way me. so we can push them in a corner and then you can get up on them, and I can start uh, picking them off one by one. But if nobody puts the baby in the corner. Did you hear? Did you hear that ghost? Is there a ghost here? That's Something like about a baby? A baby? What? Is there a baby in this in this cave? Yeah. Um. All right. So, all right, so I'm gonna go in. Vacation. Yeah, I will uh, not. I will not be in your way, and I will open I up some dialogue. Okay. As you're planning on that, Will, Akor, mm -hmm. you suddenly feel a whisper from Hatala in your head. Okay. But you don't know exactly what she said. She seems to be too far away for the spell to work properly, but like it's like some of the energy did hit you, like she was close enough to kind of get you. Can I tell what she said? Is that... No. Yeah, okay. Like, tapped you on the shoulder all. verbally. Yeah. Mm. But you basically heard Hatala speak to you for a second, but then it cut off before you could understand anything. Okay. How... Can I try to message her? How long does that take? Or is that like if a... You do, if you do the instant message, it's instant. Otherwise, it's in a one-hour ritual. The instant... What spell slot would that be? Uh, that's a cantrip. Cantrip. All right, we're going to do that. I'm going to try to... Try to talk with her. Hatala, okay. are you trying to get a hold of me? You don't get any answer back. Mm, getting some interference here. They might be dead, Nadep. They might just be us. To save the world. Core, they went to the store. Chill. Take care of these fire mm. salamanders. Okay. And, and move on. <laughs> Very well. We'll, Not we'll, we'll worry about them being dead later. Got it. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. All right. Do your talking thing. Cool. <laughs> Greetings, fire salamanders. Uh, burn, burn, burn. And now all the all the mini to one. Let's see if uh... the one that's walking in circles, whispering, keeps on doing it. The one staring at a rock suddenly stops, turns, and looks at you, and just says, "Burn, burn." Burn. What was many one? 
And then the one that was uh, laying on the ground and occasionally burning a rock and then playing with it and doing things like that gets angry and throws the rock at the one that just said burn and hits him on the head with it. Do they look like they have any... Um... Oh, they're fire elementals. I mean, do they look like they have any cracks or blessing type? You would have real trouble noticing that on an elemental's body right. because it's literally living fire. But the one thing you do notice, the one that turned towards you, its eyes are glazed. Mm. Like it's not even... Basically, just one look at it makes you get the feeling that it's not home anymore. Yes. We just want to pass. I'd like to try to start trying to go around it. You can hear more fire elemental creatures down the call the hallway can you escort us burn burn where burn and the one that said that turns around and goes to the one that hit it with a rock and starts spewing fire at it until it's happy mm. You notice it's way too cold for fire elementals to be happy here. Mm. They shouldn't want to stay here because they're going to slowly die staying here. Okay. Um, I don't have any fire spells. Per se. Um, I do. Do you have like a cantrip for fire? Yes. You want to give that a go? Produce some kind Produce of heat. flame. Produce flame. That's a persistent attack. Or I guess I could sustain it. We, he will burn, I say. Okay. You hit him with a fire and seem happy. They're not trying to dodge or anything, so it's not impo not hard to hit. <laughs> now what, core? Um. Can I? Can I just try to do some investigating on these guys before we go all the way past them? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> Take it there was nothing I'm getting. Not really. All right. Let's see if we can just go by, past these guys and up. Come on. We'll just go by. As you start to go by, you feel the pulse building again. Mm. This way. And the three of them stop and turn towards the pulse. And they seem to be waiting excitedly. Mm. And the pulse ripples through the walls. And as it goes, everywhere the pulse touches, heats up really hot. And as the pulse touches them, but all three of them burst into flames. Okay. The pulse hits you, and you actually feel like you're on fire for a second, and then the fire goes out. And Nita, when the fire hit, when the pulse hits you, you actually do catch on fire. You have a few little spots of you that are on fire right now. You're like, <laughs> yeah. I'd either be doing that or just like rolling fervently around on the floor. And as the pulse passes, you see the three salamanders slump to the ground, blissfully burning. All right, let's move while they're all enjoying their right. cool down time. Right. Let's go. Let's go. That was really hot, though. Let's go. Yeah, um, I don't know how I feel about that. And that pulse was much more intense than the one that you felt at the mouth of the cave. And those aren't coming as frequent, correct? Like they're between the two of them, you can't discern a pattern. Okay. But now the temperature is probably a hundred degrees in the cavern. Okay. Does it look like it's opening up, or does it, do we see more of the salamanders? 
uh, a little farther, you actually see a fire elemental. Mm. It's sitting in a pool of magma. Just say hi. Hello. Uh, it ignores. Burn. It's not getting any attention. Burn. Let's just... It doesn't have eyes, so you can't see it's glazed over, but you imagine it's glazed over. Mm. I think they're high on some heat. Nadep. I've seen that look before. Mm. You notice you trip on something. I look at that, see what it is. It's a twisted and partially misshapen lump of metal. It's really long and some ashen wood underneath it. Take a closer look at it. Yeah, can we take a investigate that to try to make out what it is? All right. I'm not the curious this whole time. Jeez. Kor, you're fairly certain that they are rails from like a cart system. Okay. But they've been twisted and burnt bad. Nadep. It looks like at some point someone was mining this area. Nadep, this is, uh, I know you're throwing threes, but, uh, and you're a dwarf, but this looks like mine carts, some mine rails. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, do the tracks head in the direction that the pool is coming from? Yes. All right. I, I think we should try to hurry up before the pulse comes again. Okay. You come down a little further, and there's a pile of slag. Mm. It's about two feet high, and there's something in the slag. Your guess is of a cart was there. Okay. Um, is it moving at all? It's a pile of slag on the ground. Does the pool feel like it's coming from that? Oh, it's still coming from deeper. Okay. Mm. But you do feel a little bit of the traditional pull towards it. Okay. Uh, can we try to get this out of the slag? Nadep, do you have a way of getting it out? I mean, not really. I don't. I'd do earth, not metal. But um, your best bet would uh, be actually be a winky hammer. Yeah, I've got the. I've got the back of my uh, hatches here. This pile of slag is about two feet high and about three feet across. And it looks like it's fairly thick, and whatever is inside was encapsulated. Could I, like, dislodge a stalactite above it or something? Can you do your, no. um... Never, and there's none of those. Your stone movement or anything like that? Again, it's metal, not stone. Yeah. But it feels like a firestone kind of a pool? It feels like a fairly large one. Well... Metal can't be hard if it's melty. Mm. Can I try using my uh, my power to try to melt and get to it? Oops, sorry, I was trying to look at that, not necessarily cast <laughs> it, but I think yeah, I Yeah, you do not want to cast it. that in here. <laughs> First off, that was just simply drop it down into the core of the earth and leave it right. there. Right, <laughs> and, and never get it back. Which might actually be good for getting rid of the stone, but not for y'all. <laughs> we want the upgrade. <laughs> because that chasm that it makes is about the size of this cavern. Right. Mm. How do we want to get this out? The easiest way would be Winky's Hammer. So to call them down and get them to join? Well, you know, it's getting dangerous here. If y'all go any further, you may run into something that's not stoned. That could be dangerous. Uh, so we turn back and go and find Winky and the others? Yeah. It's been long enough in the day that if y'all make it back to camp, they should be back to camp from yeah, wherever they've been doing. I am still concerned that Hitala did not respond to us. I uh, would like to try to check in on them. And your video feed keeps shifting. Me? Yeah. Sorry. 
Sorry, my portal is still uh, stable. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's on a little like pivot stand, but it doesn't have a lock, so you can like have it stay in the right place. <laughs> and the cable weight is apparently enough to pull it and move it. I gotcha. We'll make my, we'll make it work as well. You're good. I mean you still have your face, but you know. Oh, he think he's got the jokes. Oh. To the Winky. So, Y'all head back to camp? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's go find Winky. On your way to camp, you feel another message from Matala, but again, the, it cuts out and you can't understand it. Mm. Um, your guess is she's too far away for the quick version of the spell to work. Right. And your magic is working now, right, Nadep? We've got out. We got. We're through with all that. Yeah, we're good. Okay. What you need? <laughs> um, long strider, if you have it. This is. We're like an hours away, aren't we? It'll be the time by the time you get back. Okay. Yeah, he said we'd be the same time. Okay. Because you you were following the pull, so it was a little easier to get there than it is to wander back home. Gotcha. All right. Do, 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 do. See if anything randomly happened to y'all while you're on your way back. Sounds good. An ancient dragon drops from the skies. <laughs> Not a thing. All right, you make it back to camp, and not long after y'all get there, the rest of the group comes back to camp too. How was the shopping trip? Winky broke a lot of doors. Ooh, we actually got something we need Winky to break. More more doors than usual. He, he's oh, got yeah? a hammer that literally seeks out doors that are in our way. Huh? Yeah. So, so it what do gives you call us it, path, what do you the call wayfinder. It? You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> call it hammer sense. Yeah, that's right. Hammer sense. It's not hammer time? It's not the winky tingle? Ooh, <laughs> I like this. Um, yeah, let's... Do you let's, notice uh, winky no. has a large rectangle of metal strapped to his back? What's that? What you oh, this is for core. It's an oven. <gasps> we gotta fix it, though. We gotta fix it, though. It's uh, broken. But it's... it's, it's I'm gonna hug it. It's repairable. It's repairable. Oh, hey, he also found a uh, a forge too. A portable. Oh yeah, I'll pull out the uh, the a toolbox forge and uh, open it up. Okay. It's a toolbox that opens up into a fully functioning forge that That's just awesome. simply uses a spell to activate the forge and make it hot. Okay. Um, it's pretty nifty. We also found out they assassinated the Mage Guild. All of them? The what? Um, Ma anybody that stood in their way, yeah. Mage? They were systematically destroying the mages. Who? It was pretty gruesome. Who did what? I'm a little lost, sorry. You know, the Sparkle Finger people, the Wizards, Mages, Mages Guild? Yeah. The Magic they're, people? They're, they're pretty much all dead. They're dead. I just, I don't know what <clears throat> magic guild. I know the Adventurer's Guild. Well, we went to, like, the Mage Tower, you know, and, and okay. down in the basement. So, and... like, the, the Orm Mage's Guild from the ancient times, or? Yeah, apparently uh, they were trying to, I guess, trying to figure out how to uh, destroy the machine. And they were warned that uh, it wasn't it. I think it was an edict that was uh, put out. If they didn't stop what they were doing, then they would all die. And we found a lot of death. So hopefully they're not all dead. Maybe some of them escaped, but the basement is pretty much destroyed completely. Oh, so you guys went to a mage's tower? Well, the basement of the mage's tower because the tower is no longer there. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. Talking about going in the ground, we actually found something. Actually, uh, by the way, I sleepwalk now, so this is a thing. 
I'm not catching. Wait. I'm not catching stuff on Wait. fire, but. So, so oh, okay, so so you didn't call that when catching stuff on fire is sleepwalking. I would have considered that sleepwalking as well. Uh, that, one, and you're still kind of you know in place. You just happen to be everything on fire. So, is part of our. Um, Nightly duties, are we supposed to tie you up so you don't wander away? Or... Whoever's on shift may want to keep a lookout. Like, I, I guess Depp was on shift and he just kind of followed me. That seems a lot more humanitarian. Mm. Yeah, that seems a lot more humane than tying you up. I still, I still think there's a chance that he cast a spell on me and made me do this. But, but I was, long story short, we found this cavern has a strong pool from us uh you know a lot of elemental creatures in there fire creatures it's really hot uh you may want to were there any dinosaurs there i found my dinosaur in the cabin hmm this was i mean if i thought that was a a, a, a elemental dino maybe if we go deeper uh, uh, I don't know how to control but it but there's a uh, there's yeah. i did fill a firestone we found this uh giant metal slag heap and kind of need Winky's help to, to smash this apart. Um, oh, fun. Yeah, you get to see the hammer sense. That's, that's yeah. If there's any doors, he'll go right to it and smash it. The Winky Tingle. <laughs> the Winky Tingle. <laughs> make it a thing. It's going to be a thing. Wink, sorry. Winky, you can't let them make that a thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> We've already defined it as the hammer sense. You can't let them make that a thing. So, you got to stand up for your hammer sense, my friend. Sony owns Hammer Sense. It's got to be Peter Jingle. Mm. I mean, <laughs> sorry, Winky Tingle. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Peter? What? <laughs> Who's Peter? Nobody knows. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, you notice that Hatala and Eve seem to be both a little out of sorts after whatever happened to them on their adventure. And they tell you that Tomorrow, y'all can go investigate your cavern. They're going to stay at base, and Eve is going to meditate and seek her deity in prayer, and Hatala is going to keep an eye on her and work on her jewelry while she's doing that. Okay. Do we need any healing while we're here? Is everyone healthy? Everyone should be fully rested. Great. Yeah, when we started last week, I had to recover from everyone's messing around the week before. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is Will Core almost half dead? Because <laughs> I fought everyone. <laughs> All right. Y'all sleep through the night. Uh, let me advance the day one more time. Does that mean we level up? Yes, y'all are all now leveled up. But y'all already were leveled up. <laughs> I forgot we did that. Yeah, we weren't able to use it last session because technically we hadn't leveled up, but we had already done it because of the. Yeah, you're officially leveled up now. Yay! Official. It's official. All right. Facebook official. The next morning, you wake up and it is raining fairly hard today. Mm. Oh. Hopefully there is won't it, be any flooding in the cave. Is it cold? It is uh, about 50. Okay. Um, so it's rather... Wow, that's a big jump from yesterday. Hey, is there a way we could uh, maybe get some fire protection before we go down there? Those pulses are getting kind of intense. None of y'all really know any way to do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I secretly start putting things in my pack, you know. Start taking the... Dang it! Keep it light. Secretly. Possessed lamp! It is. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a little timer on it, but my aunts have escaped <laughs> and got down inside the timer, and the timer don't work properly anymore. Hmm. So, all right. Um, with it being in the 50s, it's definitely warming up from uh, the frigid temperatures it was being a yes. Northman. I'm I would like to take off the winter clothing and just uh, use uh, normal clothes. 
well, you need to take it off because you don't want your winter coat getting in the rain. Well, you need to put on your traveler's cloak. True. Because um, it's water. Well, I didn't know if I had like pants and things like that as well that were also like fur lined or boots that were fur lined. Y'all do. Y'all are wearing a winter outfit. Outfit. Mm -hmm. Because when you're in the snow, you had to have it. Yeah. So you can transition to your regular outfit, but you will be a little cold. That's okay. I'll... It's not bad because you're used to it, mm. but you're also the only human in the group, so you're more adverse to it than everyone else. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to follow a... suit with that as well. Go back to my regular attire. Pants. Yep. With or without pants, y'all y'all never know. Mm -hmm. never know. <laughs> I get a five, get a five uh, resistance to cold. A five percent. You what? Apparently, I have five uh, five percent resistance to cold. I don't know what it means. Five percent um, resistance. No, to you cold. resist cold damage. Yeah. That means if someone hits you with cold, the first five of it does nothing. All right. As y'all make your way back, you still feel the pull, core, but you do not feel it need up. It's interesting. And it's guiding you again, but it's not guiding you as well as it did previously. Okay. It's like they used their it used its energy guiding you the first time. Okay. I still feel the pull, so I'm definitely going to Almost like it was a conscious effort to guide you yesterday. Yeah, uh, it seems weaker. We probably don't need to dally anymore. So we'll, if we can hustle, let's let's get out on after it. And get back to this cavern. Run, run fast. Run, you fools! You can only run as fast as I can run. I think I'm the slowest of the group at this point in time. Twenty-five over here. Because y'all have already been there once, you managed to get there in less time than yesterday. Okay. And y'all made it to the entrance of the cavern. And... Hold on. Where is my... Ooh, that's pretty. As you approach the cavern... You can see, <coughs> and now there's a layer of mist and fogginess at the base of it as the heat from inside is mixing with the rain, causing everything to be a dense layer of fog on the ground. Still, it's only about knee height, so it's not thick, but you don't know if the fog's going to get thicker as it goes deeper. Okay. Uh, does... And the temperature is muted a little bit more. It's not nearly as warm at the entrance. Okay. Just a reminder about us being in caves. Me and Nadep talked about this earlier about sight lines. I know a car will probably appreciate it if us fighters don't get in the way. Yeah, I don't like shooting you guys in the back, even though I do it quite often. I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> uh, I keep having to repair it's, the holes. It, it's 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 mute. It's mute. It doesn't. You know, it's it's a wasted it's a wasted spell or a wasted shot. You know, I don't like shooting you guys. All right. All right. Um. Uh, we could we could press on in now. Uh, I imagine at this point we've filled in Winky and a car on the pulses and how the heat jumps up. Um, so yes, please don't attack the elementals. We can get by them currently, probably still. So hey, did you try using your shield to block the pulse? Just what shield? Oh yeah, that's right. But now you have a stove, and you used it as a shield previously. <laughs> I, I want to preserve you? this one. I, I'd, I'd rather go without the shield. I'll cast shield. Can I cast? Well, remember, the only reason it got destroyed is because you blew it up. <coughs> it technically didn't get destroyed. It got launched so hard, you never found it again. I'm, I still don't have all my hearing back. <laughs> All right. Um, That'd be cool. Turn the oven into a shield I can shoot flames out of. Cut bikes again. 
This is what we did last time, though. We started coming up with cool ideas, and then it blew up. Mm -hmm. why, why did it blow up? I forgot. Because we did. Because we weren't supposed to turn the oven into a power gauntlet like Iron Man that I could shoot fireballs out of. <laughs> Apparently, that was too OP. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't do anything. You what? Oh uh, well, I can move the the image. Click the you X on the, the image. Yeah, you can you can do X to close it. I don't see the X. It's on the top right corner. It's in the top corner. Yeah, like it's, you don't see it till you point to it for some reason. There. Just where you imagine there would be an X for in a window, it's there. Okay. Did you get it close? Unless, unless you're on Mac. It, it doesn't like me for some reason. Uh, you were probably going to miss your shots anyhow. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. No, we need him to get that close. He needs to see the world. Who knew world? Oh, Just, escape! Escape works too, but it closes oh, that everything. That works too. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I don't see the X. I see the little thing where it go like bigger, smaller, but that was the only thing that I could see. All right. As y'all make your way down the cavern, you suddenly start to hear sounds of <clears throat> skittering and other movements, and occasionally the ground makes grinding noises, like stone on stone moving. Can you place that in the top? Oh, yeah. It sounds like a 50-pound uh, block of basalt on another... No, I can't tell what that was, but yeah, I heard uh -huh. it. Okay. But I can see if I can tell anything more about it. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> glass break. You did the glass break 2 animation? I like it. Yep. Yeah, I did that too. Oh. Glorious. All right. I haven't rolled second. higher than a three. Hmm. All right. You are looking around, trying to listen, and you're leaning in and listening, and right as you lean in to listen... Charles freezes again. Winky turns uh, and goes, What are you doing, Nada? And you're like, Ah! Not okay, Winky. <laughs> I was trying to see what was going on, but now I'm too distracted. You're just going to have to walk in there blind. You went blind from him yelling in your ear? Um, <coughs> you get back to the part of the cavern. You're almost back to that little part of the cavern where the salamanders were, and you do not see the salamanders. You only see one slumped against the wall. Does it look dazed or knocked out? It, is, it looks like it has lost most of its flame. Ooh... It's not good. It, I was about to ask if it was still flaming. And you see two small piles of ash in the floor. Um, they look the they look like salamander-sized ash piles. Your guess is close to that. This is not a good sign. Um, I wonder if they just burned out. Yeah. Uh, and you feel the it... pulse building. All right, so I feel the pulse coming. It's going to get hot. Uh, I'm curious to see if it's going to be weaker now, though, or not. If it's weaker, we might have to hurry. The pulse builds. You see it suddenly start coming down the wall. Everyone sees this wave of force coming down the wall, and as it goes, wherever it touches the wall, it's like heat is generated and the wall starts turning molten a little bit as it comes down. And as it approaches, the three of y'all no notice that you start feeling it pulling you in your head. Kind of like a tickle. 
that you can feel that that pulse is there. And then it hits, and when the pulse hits you, you warm up a little bit. Nothing much happens, core. Okay. Winky, you feel like a hot air blew on you. A car, you actually feel nothing. And then need it, dead. you catch on fire a little bit again. <laughs> but not as bad. Like, like you smolder on your shoulders. Yeah. I thought you said a pulse was coming. I, don't, I didn't feel you, anything. You saw it. It didn't feel that much, though. It's definitely getting weaker. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like we were being guided. If it's getting weaker, I wonder if something's dying off. We may. When the pulse hits the salamander, you can see that the... Uh, pulse hits there's a burst of heat from the salamander and as the pulse moves on the pulse is stronger the salamander is grown inert hmm. all right <clears throat> let's, let's move on move. all right you get to the next area that has the pool of magma and the fire elemental is dropped down into the magma and the magma is starting to harden over a little bit. Quick. You got to get to the stone. Okay. The you metal. see the pile of slag down the corridor again. Hit it, Winky. Hit it. Sudden charge it. I mean, run at it full force and then hit it. All right, you strike the, the the thing, roll damage. You hit it with a resounding ring, and cracks start appearing. Muted. And you're muted if you're talking. On what? The, the hammer? Or the... On the slag. Okay. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was a nat okay. one from Winky. You wind up, you swing, and right as you're about to hit, the ground shakes a little bit and you miss and you twirl in a circle twice before falling over. Okay. I'm going to get back up. Everyone just watched Winky do a pinwheel and fall over. I'm going to applaud. Golf clap. You're not, you're not going to do your kip up? <laughs> I don't have that. Yes, you do. You have you it on this what? character, yes. You have it on both of your characters. Really? Yes. I yeah. thought you did. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't, thought no, you had I it don't. and never used it. <clears throat> no. I guess maybe not. I don't know. I, I, we got things get confusing. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look feet. I thought he had it and never used it, is what. Yeah, I think he. I thought he said he was gonna use it more on this character. I thought that's why he. No, he actually, it. he does not. I don't have it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna get up. I don't have it. It's fine. Okay, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get up and hit the thing again. All right. Swing! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Two in a row! <clears throat> oh, no. Okay. <sighs> you go to swing, and this time, you take your step back to swing, and right as you swing forward, your foot behind you slips in something, and you go down, swinging your hammer around, and land on the ground again. <laughs> I'm gonna get up again. You, you need me to swing at it, Winky? No, I think I, I, think I got it this time. I don't. Okay. I, I'm just gonna I'll point at the snag. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love how it hovered on that one for a second before dropping. Uh, yeah. All right, you hit. Roll damage. Okay, a lot more cracks are appearing now. It looks like it's almost broken. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, nice 34. Oh, yes. Nice good swing. Mm. 
Another 19 damage. It's a terrible wall. I got like All two right. five. That attack was a critical hit. So you hit it and it shatters. I did it. Oh. As the uh, slag shatters, it drops away, leaving about a one foot wide red crystal. Dibs. Dibs. Ooh. That's big. I'm not touching it. I want to see if I can I'm not touching it. I want to see if I can absorb it. For it. Okay. I'm gonna back go up. What's that? You go to absorb it? Yes. Yes, it absorbs perfectly. Did uh my little forehead grow any? Yes. Okay. Is it just the gym getting bigger? Or does it look like it's kind of coming out? It looks like it's growing. Okay. You, you really can't tell what it's growing into, but it gets wider and more curved back. Hmm. Okay. My helmet Whoa, still fit. No, yes. Pretty much your, your whole forehead is red now. It's pretty crazy. I want to see how big I can make this. All right. Let's see. What if it takes over your brain, though? I, now that Winky wasted a lot of time laying on the ground, we need to hurry. <laughs> as y'all are g going down do you, do you notice the water running on the floor and the sm and the uh, fog have thickened and it's now feeling like a muggy steam heat and now the air inside is at least 80 almost 90 degrees and it's getting warmer and you can feel that pulse building again okay And this time, all three of y'all feel that there's a pulse building. Just keep on moving through the pulse. Okay. As you move down, and finally the pulse goes, and as it goes, you notice this time, this is the deepest you've been in the cavern, there's almost like a green glow to the pulse. Hmm. Interesting. And... Right. It hits, and this time, Core, you feel a little bit more heat, but you almost feel like somehow you're being protected from it. Okay. Winky, you're hit by the pulse, and you definitely get hot, but it's nothing that's too bad to a gnome. Okay. A car, it hits you, and you feel absolutely nothing again. Because he's dead. No, I'm I'm alive now. Need it. We fix that away. The pulse hits you, and this time you're a lot more on fire. <laughs> oh, stop, drop, and roll. Okay, you put the fire out easily. It's not deep fire. It's like it's like literally throw, someone threw matches at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because it's uh, because need to keep using fire, so to get on on fire. Mm. It's drawn to him. All right, and you're feeling the pull guiding you down. And hold on, we're going to change maps now. Whoa. I still felt nothing on that one too, guys. I don't understand why I don't feel anything. You don't? <clears throat> did you feel the? But you feel campfire heat normally, though, right? Yeah, hmm. I don't oh. understand why I don't feel this heat. And the pool is different from the fire crystal pool, right? It's very similar, but it's more like there's an intention behind it than just hmm. power. Okay. You guys notice that <clears throat> the green tinge on that last one? It's like that, it's like that Disney evil green. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Maleficent and every other evil character. Y'all so. are following your basalt cavern down, and you can see up ahead the cavern opens up, and there's some kind of eerie green glow swirling from down below. Mm. And in here, the walls are roasting if you to the touch. If you get close to them, they almost burn your hand. They're so hot. Oh gosh. I did. And you can feel 
that magma is just flowing all around you. Like y'all, y'all feel like you're inside a lava tube. That's that's scary. Yes. And the area is almost perfectly circle coming up, and your guess is it's some kind of geode or something inside of a lava flow. So I've I've I personally as a car feel this heat, like the lava flow heat, the yeah. lava tube, but I don't feel the pulse. Interesting. I want to relay that to the guys. And the pulse is enough to set Neat up on fire. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, I, Maybe maybe it does that because it's it's based on what uh what creation powers it likes the most. Or what creation or what power do you have a car? I think uh, it's like death and life or something like that. To balance out each other. Also death, have life air. and water. Yeah. Oh yeah, and water, yeah. Because we oh, need water crystal. It's water. Mm. Mm. Does anybody else have water? No. No. Nadep, mm. which ones do you have? Uh, earth and. Uh, I thought you had like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a mixture of, of his, his bread, his his crystals to earth and air. air. Okay. So yeah. I thought you had more than that already. I thought you had like three uh, or four. Yeah, I thought I had three now. But that's, but that's all that was showing up on my... I thought I had 18. Because I thought I had fire as well. Where did they show up at? I have them listed under my skills, mm. under creation power. Now, those are those things you're skilled at. That's different oh. than the infections you have. Uh, I have it on a chart somewhere. Yes. But you have three, I know for sure. Right. Well, I, I that's why I was confused. I couldn't remember what the third one was when I was looking at I thought at that. you had some water, but it was the least of yours, and you were still missing yes, fire. That's that's what it was. You, you've got a good ch chunk of earth, a good chunk mm -hmm. of air, and a little bit of water, but you don't have fire. Yes. So I call the next piece. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. even, even if it's the heart of the Titan, I'm taking all of it. <laughs> Sorry. So what do you do? Well, Advance George's adventure. Well, let's see. What would be a, a good route to take? Um... There's just a... <coughs> drops down like stairs of basalt heading down towards the center of this geo. Okay. All right. Do you want a uh, hey, winky? Do you want us to take the the flanks and then uh, they can kind of proceed in? Oh, what flanks mean? You go to the one side and I'll take the other side. Yeah, let's do that. That way we're not in a direct path of Nadep or a car, and they can kind of shoot. Just yeah. We'll just stay within like. Now you are aware there's only one path forward. I mean, yeah, but. I mean, we're not going to... A little bitty stone peninsula going out, and that's it. Well, I, I, oh. I can't see very well, because... I might want to light something up. I did, I just... I can only see so far. It's, oh, it's paused. I might light a torch. I, I, uh, I have, have my lantern on. You have your lantern, you can put it on your... Yeah, I have my lantern on. It's just, mm -hmm. I have to get further in to... For my... Uh, you turn me, turn me off. Now it's back on. <laughs> No, I have to, I have, I can see this far. That's how far my light shines. Yeah. Once I get to this distance, it's all kind of darkness. I'm pretty sure that's this is where the path I... is. So That's yes. how far I can see, too. I can see out here, all right. even though I have low light. Yeah, Native can see everything just about because of dark vision. Then, uh... Why don't you let me go first? <laughs> just as long as you let us run past you when we set in charge, okay? Yeah, that's fun. Because I can see all the way out. Alright, we'll follow in the depth in. Alright, one at a time, just like it was combat. Alright. Winky, you going after him? Alright, wait a minute. I'm hold up the rear. You're going to do in the rear? Alright. Alright, 
All right, that's no. far enough. All right. Or need it. Don't go any further. Yeah. Everyone else can move now. I'm going to move right to the edge since it's going down. So you can shoot Won't down. Move. Yeah, oh. that way I have the high ground. And then I'll, I'll hold here for, for a minute. From where y'all are sitting, you can see down to the bottom. And this chasm goes deep. And there's almost like a green swirly energy, like a mist that's on top of a lake of lava. <gasps> what? This this is giving me Hercules vibes right now. <laughs> <laughs> when they when he went into Hades. Yep. <clears throat> Need it. Yes. Hold on. No, no one sees anything yet. You see that the path comes down and there's like fingers of basalt coming up all around and it looks like this section in the middle. It's mm -hmm. just a collection of these fingers that have jutted up from deep underground in the lava. Oh, okay. that's weird. But you can hear the sound of something breathing in this chamber. And the breathing is labored. All right. I'm going to motion for everybody to be quiet and to slowly, slowly follow behind me. All right. Everyone wait till he finishes his move before you start moving. All right. I think y'all are good to start progressing down the wall. All right. Now everyone else move. <clears throat> or I would stop with the outcrop right above me, like that little stair step. A good little lookout spot. I'm still right. using uh, Core's light, so I can't see much. <clears throat> I guess I'll progress. Y'all are having trouble seeing because right here is a pillar of basalt that seems to be blocking the way. Oh, okay. Would you like to smash it? Mm, I wouldn't <laughs> try. So let's let's not smash go... stuff with a lake of lava underneath us. Can I go directly south to the path, or is there a path to the west as well? This is the only path you see. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't the lava light up the area? Uh, this it's deep below us. Go uh, go ahead of me, Winky. You're, you're with Nadep. I'm with the car. My arrow keys aren't working. Drag and drop. Click on your token. All right, a car. I don't need it. Stop moving. Everyone else is still oh, moving. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting okay. impatient with them. Waiting on Winky. Yeah, I can see in the dark, so it's like, what's what's so? What are y'all waiting on? All There's right. Someone around. Need it? You notice that there is a pool of blue water. Off in the distance. Blue water. Ooh. And it's rippling almost like a filled with energy. Isn't right. all water blue? I'd like to make my way over to it fairly quickly and look and see what's in there. Alright. <laughs> well, where are you going? Uh, I see I something. Can't... It's over here. See what? I can't see nothing over there. Alright, now you're done moving. Let everyone else. Alright. Oh, a car! We've lost him. Just—he's <laughs> in the dark. He just follows behind me. <laughs> He's—he can't see. My well, car's not there. I'll move him. All right, where y'all are all sitting, you can see a pool of lava everywhere around you, but in front, of, directly in front of Winky and Nidip is a small blue pool of energy water. It, it's water, but it's rippling almost like it's empowered or some kind. And you see several of these pools lying around. Hmm. Is, it, does, is, it, is there a certain smell of it? Does it smell like it's tampered with? All right, hold on. He's back. Oh, hi. 
you followed everyone as they moved forward, a car, and now you see everyone is stopped at a pool of blue water that has a rippling, almost like an energy presence to itself. And it's down deep enough that you can't just like stick your hand in it. You have to use something, kind of tool, if you want to touch the water. But uh, you do notice that there are bones around the water. Bones? Of small creatures and things like that. Interesting. Is there, is there like, rocks around us? There's some rocks. small rocks and things like that, and the breathing is much louder now. Are are the rocks, like, hot, too hot to touch, or are they... Yes, everything in here is boiling hot. You can still grab them, but it's boiling hot. I'm gonna... You I'm gonna play... realize now that your boots are getting really hot. I'm gonna use my hammer to, like, knock one of the rocks inside of the water. Like, golf. Okay. It hits the water, and there is a ripple, and the water sloshes around, and it's almost like every time the water sloshes into something, it's almost like energy is released. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have a kind of direction on the breathing? Because of the this ch chamber ends up being an echo chamber, so all you hear is it from all directions, and your pull is no longer pulling you anywhere in particular. Okay. Hmm. And hold on a second. Suddenly, y'all hear a voice. So oh. people came. Did you hear my call? I heard. Is this all in common or ignan or? It's in ignan. I heard. Who are you? You hear the voice coming from over here directly. Okay. Who am I? I don't think I ever had a name. I am. Well, I guess now it might be better to say I was. Hmm. And on this pillar of basalt over here, a light comes on. Hold on. I have to alter the settings on this real quick, so hold on. It's not an easy way to do this. No, not that. <laughs> There, I like that. A pulsing red flame ignites in the middle over here. And a section of the basalt leans up. What? And sits back down. And it's like the hard parts of its body is basalt. But everything in between in the joints is flowing magma. Mm. Ooh, that's cool. I've never had a name. I've pretty much always lived here. Cor, ask him if he wants us to give him a name. I, I don't think you can understand you what can he's understand saying. You can understand what he's saying? No. I, <laughs> this is... Assuming that you were telling us. Yes, I am relaying it. This is Richard. <laughs> All of a sudden, it switches to common. After hearing you speak, you speak the simpleton. Yes, he is a simpleton. <laughs> Hi. I'm a car. Greetings, water one. Water one. Do you know what these pools are? They are the essence of life and death. Hmm. Oh, that's creepy. For some, they're life. For others, they're death. There's no hmm. telling. Well, I have both it's of those. It's a chance. Hmm. 
are these why is it that you called us here because i am dying i felt you fire one you Whoa. seem do seem to be growing weaker is there anything we can do in my heyday I was pure fire and molten fury. But ever Sounds since cool. my father died, I've been hardening and going cold. That is the. Is this your, is this your way of mourning? Mourning your father? Is this the fire I titan? The what? The big. I don't understand your phrase. I say it in. Uh... That sounds like what you know, describe him as. Okay. Can't we just melt you up all up again so you're better? No. Or is that not how it works? I am not a natural creature. He's a... I am an offspring of the indwelling of two elements. Is it uh, fire and earth? Yes. Hmm. So what is it that you seek from us? You say that you're dying. Is there a quest that you need us to accomplish? I simply wish to pass among a friend. Mm -hmm. We will stand vigil for you. And I believe my death will leave you something that you seek. Thank you. I am humbled by your offering. Is it true? Is he still alive? Ooh. Yes, whom so he is in pieces. Yes. <laughs> that would explain it. He's giving me dreams. As many a, for one to one. Is he... You have been chosen. That's what it seems, yes. I do believe that somebody once called you a champion, Kor, of the Fire Titan. A champion or a Primarch? <laughs> no Primarch. No Primarch, yes. What word I know. I, yeah, I, I did you wouldn't not line up. Primarch. You wouldn't want to be a Primarch. Do you know if there Although are... it has been said that it is possible for a mortal to become a Primarch. Mm. I'm... Once they become a Primarch, they cease being a mortal. And cease being themselves. This is uh, Kor's inner thoughts, but he is going to store that for deep thought later. So he knows his life with all of his friends and all of his companions. He is the shortest lived one here. And he's one of the big things Kor has been trying to do is set up this organization to carry on after he's gone. Because you know the Quelleth will, you know, that threat's not going to leave. And that's one of the big concerns mm -hmm. he has. So that's all internal thoughts that's going through Kor's mind. He coughs once or twice. And when he coughs a car, you can feel it. Well, that's weird. Like, like a bass in my chest kind of feel. So you feel it like a pull of power. A pull? Yes, you give hugs. <laughs> There's always time for hugs. Just so you guys know, it does make it easy to edit later when I have these long silences. It's easier to see the silence <laughs> than it is to try to find the holes. I yes. apologize. She needed hugs and kisses for bed. No we're not problem. That's always All perfect. Right, so I, I feel it. You feel a pull towards him every time he coughs. <laughs> kind of like oh. the sensation you had when you were first infested with death. I don't know what to do with this information. 
Uh, I guess I relay this to Core and possibly in the debt. Like, just to explain, like, what I feel is like every time he coughs, and I would assume that he would overhear. I'm not trying to hide any information, mm -hmm. just kind of talking it over with the group. As you explain it, Core, it sounds a lot like when you sense a gem. I, re I relay that to a car, and it, it might be a pool. It, you might need to go to him. Is that what you feel? It's Is that from, what you feel when you... From your descriptions, yes. Do I need to try to absorb this crystal? I don't, I don't know if I want to absorb any more death crystals. I don't... I don't know. This is your decision, your mm -hmm. life, but you might be what could help him move on. He finishes a coughing fit and looks at you, Water One. You also have the touch of death. Yeah, a, a big crystal blew up, and yeah, it went. Yeah, I was, I was almost dead for a very long time. But I see you got better. Yeah, I hastily grabbed a life crystal to try to reverse the death crystal, but the death crystal is still there. So it kind of balanced now. Hmm. Well, it makes sense that all of them are still alive. I always thought that they were all dead, but I've seen too much in the world to think otherwise now. Did you, I think they truly are immortal. Did are you, you speaking of? Offspring. Are you speaking of what we call the Titans? Yes. I guess that's the word you use now. Yes. Do you know? Did you witness the tainting? No, but I had run-ins with death before the tainting. Mm. I've heard of it through the elementals. Did Death just want to annihilate everything? Was he evil from our concept, or was that just his nature? Or I know as more died, he grew stronger. Was that he was he actively trying to cause death, cause war? Death didn't really have motivations. It just kind of went with the flow. It didn't have any designs or plans or goals. It's just wherever it went, death followed. I'm glad. And so most living creatures didn't want death going anywhere near them. I understand. For obvious reasons. Yes. And then when all the titans, as you call them, gained the faith of the mortals, they didn't want death going near them either. Hmm. I believe that may have even been the beginning of them fighting amongst themselves. Because before that, they were all in harmony, as much as any of the elements can be. I mean, how do you think all of us offspring were born? We're all indwellings of multiple elements. Yes. From what I understand, you mortals are a combination of all of them. Yes. But ever since my father fell and the connection was severed, I have been dying. The energy of my mother, I did not feel it either. Mm -hmm. Who who was your mother? The earth. Yes. I believe she she is not gone, but she is sleeping. From what we've been able to learn. I still don't understand how I can sense nothing of my father. But you have had communication with him? He was... Hmm. I think mom and dad had a falling out. Um, and your father was dismembered. Uh, what remains of him is a... A giant fire scar, uh, a hand, and I believe there's an eye 
somewhere. But he's in several parts. He's not a cohesive unit. The most we've gotten were dreams. Interesting. Well, it will not be much longer now. And as he says that, you see his left arm completely harden into basalt. Hmm. Uh, I want to jump across and get over there to him. You can't. I can't? Okay. It's way too far. Because I was thinking more of like the whole... Uh, I can throw you. Yeah, Winky, throw you know, him. The, uh, it's okay the, if he doesn't make it. Just chunk him. <laughs> what I was thinking in my head is, is, you know, since I feel this pull to this creature, I was thinking of, as his final moments, the arm clasp to let him know that, you know, I was there with him at the end. But since I can't get there. The light dims. And his body is starting to cool off. He comes to the edge of the da dais as he's on. And he's probably about 30 feet tall. Mm. You notice as he gets closer now. He steps across the chasm and sits down on this closer chasm, on his closer finger, as he just slowly kind of sits down. And now he looks like one of the pillars around you. Well, are all of these pillars people? No. Just the and one. He is cooled off completely now. That's sad. Let's just head up and get the stone. Oh, that's just disrespectful. I am. As he hardens into a basalt pillar, you see now that there is a red stone in what would equivalently be his lap. Mm -hmm. And a brown stone. Oh, so earth and fire. I'll take this. No. I I still need to take the fire. I, but, but I can you fire. absorb Get some them? tongs. You don't absorb though. Get some tongs. Yeah, I'll put it in... Do I still have space in my um, bag of holding? Because I know I threw books in there. Did I fill it up with books? Or... Uh, well, y'all still have the uh, little oval container that holds stones. Mm, yeah, the, the ethereal wood chest or whatever it is. Well, this is a little one that uh, was made. Okay. Was it Nita that made it? Okay. Yeah, from one of the rounds of the ethereal wood. <clears throat> but I also do have a bag of holding as well. I have um, Vitala's old bag of holding. Well, we'll need to wrap them up and store them. All right, can we reach it with tongs from where we're at? No, at, at his new location, someone can jump across. I'll do it. I have a super high, high up for it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's tie a rope to him just in case. <laughs> I jump. I, I, fine. I guess I'll tie a rope to me. Okay. Core, do you want to be the anchor? <laughs> I'll... I wanted to be the one to jump, but I'll let him do it because I want to. I do want to absorb okay. their fire crystal, though. I should have those tongs from earlier. Nidup, you've something. already got fire, though, don't you? You're... That's what we're saying. Is the I don't have fire yet. Well, I don't. You I have, have if, earth, if you... air, and water. If you want to touch it before, I'm okay with that. Um, I could try to just slap you. Just you. Let me, <laughs> why don't you just let me? Why don't you just make me let me make an earthen bridge over to the the spot, walk across, and pick them both up and bring you, them back. You over. don't want to see Winky fall. Up, oh, he already not, jumped. Not necessarily. <laughs> he just he just jumped. But he just jumped. <laughs> We can he just suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we get the rope tied off first? Nope. Yeah, yeah no, I. Because we're talking. We're holding it. <laughs> so, 
Uh, make your athletics check. <clears throat> athletics. Here. Athletics. Yes. All right. 34. You, you bunny hop clear across. Yes. And now that you're the over toes. there, you see a third small fleck of stone. Third? What does it look like? Black. Black? Oh, it's death. That uh, that's for you, Mo. I I'm gonna use my tongs. But it's crystal clear black. This is good. This is good. I don't think it's uh, it's an indicator that it's not tainted, right? Well, yeah, most of them are cloudy. It's definitely not the quellus. That's for sure. Quellus are like, like obsidian, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're cloudy black. Hmm. Almost gray. Gotcha. I'm going to use my tongs to grab them. All right. Are you grabbing them one at a time or what? I'm going to grab them one at a time. So are you grabbing one and then putting it in something? Because you didn't take any container yeah, I with don't me. have anything. Maybe yep. I'll just throw it at them and have their, hold, have their hold the bag open. <laughs> this is... Mickey, jump back across. Yeah, just jump back across. Okay. And I'm going to jump back yeah. across with one. Hoping it doesn't fall. And as he's jumping across, I want to go ahead and create an earthen bridge and just walk over there. <laughs> That's not how... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go! I'm going right. to use my hero point. All right. <laughs> Glad I grabbed the <laughs> Another one. Oh! Double one. My goodness. One twice in a row with a hero point. All right. Oh, it was meant to be. It was just meant to be. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that has ever happened to. I'm, I'm glad that I stepped over near Core and was holding the rope with him <laughs> as he jumped. I'm about to be boiled to a piece of shrimp. <laughs> oh my gosh. A T7? That's confusing. Go ahead and start working on your character, Winky. How did All I right. roll that? I'm not going to die. I still have my one check, my one life. I... You, make your, you, sw you make your jump, and as you go flying through the air, you land on the edge. You're like, woo, 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 and you hold, you, you basically move like that, and you just stabbed yourself in the arm with the earth stone. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it out real quickly. <laughs> oh, look at the depth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So Winky now has Earth. Oof. Now I'm just gonna wait till I can master the ability to use it. Just don't tell Hatala how this happened. <laughs> What I'll happens at God's I'll, day stays at God's day. I'll tell yeah. I'll tell um that needed to fall. <laughs> she actually would believe that, honestly. All right. She would you believe it was poor planning. I'm gonna give it to one of the uh two who has a bag of holding. No, we're gonna put it in the box. Putting it in the box. Okay. Put it in the box. All right. How's that bridge to come in, Nadep? <laughs> All right, Nadep, you managed to make a small but seemingly strong enough bridge. All right, I'm going to walk across and grab the firestone. All right. You grab With the firestone. With no gloves? Yes. Yep. Okay. Just grabs right. it. Doing you this feel on the purpose. fire begin to start making cracks in your hand. Toss it to right. me. Uh... Right, chuck it across the cavern <laughs> to, to core. All right. Go catch it. As you throw it, it almost looks like it's in on his hand. And then I absorb it up. Yep, it vanishes. All that's left is the little black fleck. All right, I'm going to use the tongs for this one and put it in the box. All right. Nadep, since it's a car, didn't you want to do something with it?
I don't know if I would uh, if, eat it. My plan was that if I were to absorb it, it would have been at his final moments as like a, you know, a friend at the end type mm -hmm. situation. But since, since it's come out, I want to learn a little bit more about. You might not want to. Because I don't want it to affect my feeling at the moment. So I'd like to talk to Debbie about what this fleck might affect. Because I can't absorb it to my knowledge like Cork in. I don't like them. You've never that. felt a pull towards a stone before. Every everyone that we've uh, encountered before has been tainted, correct? Mm-hmm. This... With the exception of the big one that exploded up north. Which is the one that affected him originally? Right. That was more of a clear stone, a more of a pure stone. Yep, that was a pure stone. I'm I'm torn. Like I want to learn more, but I so the one that infected old. you was pure stone in the first place. Yeah, because I mean I'm torn, but I want to. I I filled this pool. Um. So, uh, do you want to, uh, if I could, give you some input? This is yes, this, this is your life. This is your choice, and waiting won't hurt anybody if you wish to talk to Devi, but. This is the first time I've ever pull, felt a pull from a death stone. I will, I will say this. We know that um, Willem is trying to bring the parts of the Death Titan back together, and if and if I can get the Fire Titan back together first, and we can purify it, it, it this is something. You know, this may be a link that you may be able to fight Willem. Um, to counter him in this way. Uh, so for that aspect, it, it might push you to, to want to do this. Again, this is this is literal death that we're looking I at. I grab the stone and, and I hold it in my fist and slam it to my chest while he's explaining this. And... Because right. he's got a point. If if I can, if I could absorb a Death Stone, this would slow the ability of Willem. You grab it and slam it to your chest, and you don't feel like you're holding it anymore. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's it's gone. <laughs> so apparently, I can absorb. I, do I feel any different? Not that you notice right away. And need to absorb the earth one? No, he does not feel any pull to any stones. Can we inspect a card to see if he has any, um, like what I have with the crown or the gem in the forehead? Well, mine is water right here, so I don't remember well, where he has cracks in his forehead. Yeah, so yours may be on a different part of your body. And since the girls aren't here, uh, that was my suggestion. Uh, also, <laughs> add another. You would have to all right, all right. So, so the funny thing is, is I go ahead and disrobe and put all my clothes on the floor, and it still looks like I'm wearing clothes. I can't see anything different. <laughs> a car? Can you look at your own self? Do you see anything different? Oh wait, I forgot. I forgot to take the ring off. I'm still wearing my underwear, by the way. He hmm. takes the ring off, and now he's only wearing underwear. I look at the pile of clothes on the ground to see if there were pants included. Wait, did he take his shoes off? No, he didn't take his shoes off. He didn't specify. He said clothing, not footwear. Okay, because yeah. if he takes his shoes off, he's going to burn up. You do notice that there is a small black spot on his chest. Mm. It looks like a necklace, but there's no chain. You've got a... That appears to be a tattoo. Uh, I don't remember getting that one. I think you've got a, <laughs> a black heart. A dead heart. I did die. Didn't well, me. almost die. Uh, die. So this is... came back slightly. I don't remember. So now that you know what the pool is like, you are going to want to seek these out in the future. You can grow this... Um, maybe, you know, 
there's there's a lot we don't know obviously but this is something you know we definitely want to look for and try to find and uh my recommendation is don't ever get tainted do you believe that i've been named champion as well maybe <laughs> uh -oh. very concerning when the gm I, says that i quickly want to put my clothes back on <laughs> all of a sudden i feel the urge to put my clothes back on I'm As y'all are talking about it, you feel a slight pull towards the pool y'all were staring at earlier. I'm gonna look at it. A car feels it. You don't. Oh, you said oh. You, you, you. I want to. Uh, I'm definitely gonna put my clothes back on, mm. ring mm. included, and I want to walk over and peer as deeply into the pool as possible. All right. Inside the pool, you can see at the bottom of it there is a speck of black that's glowing. He did say this were the pools of life and death. Some kind of chance. I tie a rope around my waist and said, well, here goes nothing. Is this... First, before you, before you go, I will, will this rope burn rock. up and will you be stuck? We don't know this. However, this is a precaution. Okay, hold your... Okay. Uh, if he dies, I, it's not my fault. You jump in and you can find the stone at the bottom. Yeah, full-on Hercules dive into the pool. Wouldn't the water be the hot? Stone. The water is hot, but he's a half-elf, so he's better at resisting it. Okay. So I grab the stone and I swim back to the top. As soon as you Look grab out. the light goes out in the pool. <clears throat> Do the other pools that we can see, are they still glowing? Yes. Is it, so he's under water. I'll, whenever yeah, he's standing up, it's only waist deep. Oh, okay. You might not drown. Maybe. <laughs> uh, you may, you may have got a concussion Is from diving in like that into a. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a lot deeper. I could have swore it was a lot deeper. As soon as the stone vanishes, the water starts getting hotter and starts to boil. Out, out, out. These other pools are still glowing. Do you feel a pool to those? And before it goes, can you check your your chest to see if it grew? You have to take everything off again. I oh, forget it. We'll look later. Is it, it probably still in my did. Hand? Is it still in my There's, hand or not? It's gone again. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm absorbing these. It's like as soon as you touched it, the magic in the pool went away. So it's now it's just a bunch of boiling water. And it's starting to evaporate, so soon it's going to be empty. Um, uh, a car. Check, want, a car. I want to check all these Wait, pools. before you absorb the next one, I empty, well, I drink some of my water skin so that I'm hydrated, and then I empty the rest of my water skin and I give it to Wait. a car. Can you fill this up before you absorb the next one? Wait, I just thought about it. So the, yes. guy, the guy said that the pools were life and death. Maybe he's talking about one. Some of them are life, and one, and some of them are death. Ooh, interesting. I, ha I, I have both. Let's do it. Is it do I feel any more pools? Do I feel any more pools to anything? Yes, you feel it to each one of the pools in the room. All right, just remind me not to drink from this water skin after we get it back. Don't drink from this water skin when we need to. Do get it back. to Nita. I'm do surprised Nita hasn't you. slammed his face into one already. <laughs> <laughs> Though he has shown restraint with the whole death. Thing. He also. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move to the one up here, and I'm gonna systematically check all of them. But this one is the one that I'm gonna fill up Core's water skin. Yes, okay. this is a double-sized pool. And now, now that I know that they're not that deep, I'm gonna, you know, kind of sit on the edge and and slide in, because uh, yeah, that 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 was not that, that hurt a little bit. My fingers got all crumpled. All right. Does everyone else just stand still while he wanders over to the other one? We'll go yes, uh, with him. I'll watch him. As, well, I'll go with him, yeah. As, uh, I still have the rope tied, just in case, you know, guys. We'll discuss with Nadep um, before we leave. Can you make up... Yeah, there's two down here, too. Can I get these? Can you make a, uh, a plaque of here 
lies whatever we want to call this guy. <laughs> I, I, the a diver of fools. A memorial stone for this. You suddenly get the feeling that he was the magma titan. Me? Okay. No. The, me. A car. Car. Cool. Can you Meh. can you make this this memorial stone say here lies the resting place of the magma titan? Sure. Okay. I say we, I say we put it close closer to the top of the uh, so that people don't come oh. down and disturb. Interesting. Yeah, because since there's only one way in and one we way out, we can make two. Like and the second one, we say this guy. Yes. <laughs> Be right. respectful of the area. This here lies the. Net. You hop in and fill up the water skin. Yes. All right. And then I'm gonna toss it out to Core. See if it's still magical. Uh, I do not catch it because it's probably wet on the outside. <laughs> Do athletics roll? Leather and what witness? Yeah. yeah. Is it uh? Can you carry <laughs> that for me, or I'm gonna get tongs and I'll put it in my bag of holding if I have room. Okay. All right. So you're now in the double pool. Okay. What do I see? You see a somewhat larger speck of black at the bottom of it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna grab oh, oh, oh. it. All right. As soon as you grab it, that section of the pool goes dark, but there's still some glow coming from the other section. I'm going to immediately swim to the uh, cooler section of the pool because I know it's going to get hot quickly. In the other section of the pool, you notice a white gem. Do I fill a pool from the white gem? No. I knew it. Uh, so I come up for a breath of air, and then I grab my tongs, and I go down and grab it. Set it on the the edge and jump out on my buttocks and pull my feet out quickly. All right. As soon as it leaves the water, the energy dissipates. So I found a a, a white gym here. Um, if you guys want to put that in the box, box of gyms, the gym box. I was right. Okay. I open up the gym box. I could place it in. Something that occurred to me. Um, you said this was black basalt, right? Yes. Before we leave, can we look around just to make sure this isn't the fortress of Little Lita with the information we had on it? Okay. And uh, just to fill everyone else in and for the listeners. So that we had received information from the adventurers guild from the catalog in the library of various locations and one of them was called the fortress of little lita it was a black edifice stone uh, made of black basalt uh, again this was a a fortress i don't think this looks like a fortress but we got basalt going on so uh, this fortress was consumed by fire according to uh, the catalog um, it says the guild found the entrance. I think we had uh, an approximate location. Uh, it's only accessible along the coast, so I don't think that's really lining up with mm -hmm. with that. So, but um, I think it was the northern central area uh, where this fortress would be. So, something to keep in mind. Uh, fire creatures were also living there was also a note uh, I have down here. He's pulling these stones out of the pool. The whole area is getting darker. All right, so a car. Which pool do you want to go to next? I, I do want to look over the edge and see if anything's rising. 
Alright, then go to the edge. Alright. Which one is he? Which way did Mo go? Oh, he's away over there. Alright. It's getting very dark for Mo. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to this edge. Right now you're the only one with light because you lit your lantern. Guys, get out your torches! Except for Nadep. Oh. He probably doesn't care. I'll look in one of the holes. See All if right. I see anything. And Winky, what do you do? You've been left alone. Everyone's watering their way. I'm just going to fall. There you go. Okay. Nita, you're looking in the hole. You can see that there is a white gem at the bottom of that hole. Hmm. Not as afraid of the life stone as I am the death stone. I guess I'm having this internal conversation with myself whether I'm going to sneak down in the hole real quick and pick it up without telling anybody. <laughs> I think I'm going to. So I'm going to make my way down the hole and see if okay. I can acquire this life stone. All right. Somewhere. You sneak down in the hole and everyone notices need it just disappear i can i can sense somewhere out in the world had tala's head just snapped up and stared in this direction <laughs> do i need to do right. an athletics to get down there or you're grabbing the stone no you just going down is going down okay do you grab the stone and get it out of the water yes okay as soon as it leaves the water the light goes out in the pool <laughs> Ooh, excuse me and you climb back out do I feel any different? You don't really notice anything. Okay. I'll go over to the next pool and look in that one as well. Do it. I'm looking. I'm watching the lava during this time. Did I see anything yeah. with it rising at all? You notice that the green is starting to lose a little bit of its potency. Okay. Almost like it's not as powerful anymore. Uh, what do I see in these two pools next to me? Uh, you can definitely pill, feel the pull of death in both of them. Well, I guess I'm just going to jump in one, grab it, and then jump in the other and grab it. And then hop out. All right. And the magic goes out of each of those. Need it? The one you're looking at now, you see a black stone. I'm going to call over to a car. Hey, I think there's another stone in here. Where? This one? You know, I can't wait, see you. where'd you go? I can't see anything. Which one? This one? Yes. Winky. I'll go back to look over the edge again. I'll run around and I can see the whole thing, but not giving any directions. All right, so wait a second. Oh, I'm gonna. Who has the box? I do. I'm gonna just say, oh, and I found this, and put it in the box, and just kind of like not comment at all on it, but put it in. Just one eyebrow. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> All right, Mo. Sorry, be right back. Got to deal with the child. No problem. I'm gonna take a quick uh, run, grab some water break. Hey. All right, we'll take a water break. Bio break. Bio, Bio break. break. Oh, give me a be chance. Be back in five minutes. Bum bum bum. Give me a chance to try to. Mess around with this a little bit.
Okay, folks, we'll be coming back in just a few seconds. Three, two, one. Welcome back, everyone. We are back from break. All right. All right. Need it? You come over. I mean, ugh, a car. You come over to Need it and look at the pool. Do you see your message? Nadette. Where'd your bags go? What bags? The ones that are always under your eyes. You You look like 10 years younger, man. I'm using this new face mud. When did this happen? I haven't seen you use any mud on your face. Are you getting feminine on us? Do I have to tell no. your dwarf, dwarven buddies that you're using mud for your face? They wouldn't be surprised. You know, to be honest with you, like, um, I just saw you like 30 seconds ago and you did not look this young. It's this cave lighting. It's very flattering. You found a lifestone, didn't you? I mean, yeah. yeah, there's one in the box. Yeah, he did put one in the box and he did not have any tongs. How oh, many pools, I forgot. How many pools are there? This feels like the last one. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five death stones, and I felt I got one life stone. How many life stones do we have? Because there's seven pools in total. Do we have two life stones? We do now. If you got mm. one, then he gave one. I'm pretty sure that he touched a life stone. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that. Mm. He likes to touch stones. He is he is a, a dwarf, after all. Okay. As the last pool's magic fades, all the water in the room starts evaporating. I'm watching off this cliff, too. And you notice, while you're watching... The green mist in front of you just goes out. Hmm. The mist is disappearing. I don't like changes. Don't Let's go. Hey, we can start exiting. Mm -hmm. There's no giant pile quickly. of treasure. No, 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 more of like uh, running, running quickly. Is it? I don't see any magma rising, do I? No. But now that the green is starting to fade, you feel more at home here, Cor. Oh, good. I don't feel so bad anymore, guys. I mean, you feel at home here. Ooh. It's just home. I might oh, I'm left be the new Magma Titan. <laughs> now, this feels very comfortable to me. This feels like if I ever if I ever retire, this is would be where I am. Um, do I? I don't feel any in kind of draw pattern, or anything. Really, this is where you want to live. In, in, okay. It feels so right. Um, no, it's like I think I think that might be the uh, the fire titan in your brain talking. It is all over your forehead right at this moment. Yes. You, Core, feel something from where the Magma Titan was. I'll have to go back over to him. I can't get to him this way. Where are you going? I can't see. You gotta come with me. Okay. Where are you going exactly? I feel... Something back over here. There's an earth bridge going to it, even though it's not on the map. Yes. So do you go to the mag Magma Titan? Yes, I do. You feel like there is an opening the size of your sword in the Magma Titan's corpse. Well, I would like to... Damn it. 
you said there's a, a hole or it feels like there is a sword? It looks like an opening the size for your sword. I will take out my sword and insert it. Okay. When you insert it into the uh, sword, the sword into the titan, you can feel the energy transferring from around the area into your sword. I do like this. I'll just keep holding it. Does it seem like the heat is going down in the area? The green is going even faster away now. That's the only indication that we can see is somebody watching. Is the green disappearing? We don't see any heat waves or anything. Or... The sword is starting to get hotter. <clears throat> I'm going to keep going. Turn it the other direction. I'm going to go as long oh, as I can. Something's happening, Winky. I don't I don't know if we'll need your anvil or uh your porta forge. This sword may be coming out glowing. Okay. Okay. You feel the energy transfer stop. I will remove the sword at this point. All right. And you can sense energy in the sword, and you see that it has more runes on it now. Can I inspect it to see if I can determine what's going on with it you can try what do you want me to use arcana or occult arcana booger you don't have a the depth i blame him for those threes <laughs> what are you hey, looking at over there i have new Speaking runes there's new runes oh, here hey let me look at those i have new runes uh yes I will I, I, mine was more of an assist for the occultism I used arcana oh you did okay yep. my arcana and my occultism are the same okay I'm trying to remember. Do you remember how we did the identification previously? Um, remember one of the times we were playing, it actually showed up in the in the game. Well, who was the last one that had it? Um, I can look at my. I'm trying to remember how we did it in one of the previous games because it was like, oh, this is neat. You can identify it now. Uh, mine says unusual sword. Let's see. Nature's sword is unclear. So we did this with the B team, I believe, right? Ah, there yeah, we go. I think we had to do it with the B team. I, fi I figured it out. Okay. <clears throat> All right, no, you did not identify. Neither of you did. Okay. Oof. It's cooled off, though, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to resheath it, and I'll, uh, I'll re-examine it when I get back to camp. Hey, well, I mean, let me take another look at it. Oh, you want to? Sorry, yeah. Didn't realize you were still looking. 
Can yeah, I? I'm still, I'm still looking. Okay, go ahead. I'll... Uh, what are you gonna do? Maybe I can assist uh, you. Question. Question. Would oddity identification help with this situation? No. No. Okay. Can I uh, assist him at all? Give him any kind of. Like... Oh, wouldn't matter. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> same thing. I literally got the same rule twice. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that there are runes there. Oh, um, yeah, they're, they're new runes. I'm pretty sure that they're new. Thank you. I, uh, exactly sure. they are, they, they seem pretty powerful. If you do, like, do yeah. these look like the ones on Winky's rune? Are these door smashing runes? No, um, I'm, I'm not sure, but I feel, I feel pretty confident that they're very high level runes because I don't know what they are. Mm. You're going to watch. Can you check out my runes? Uh, maybe I'll get again. A, a Winky sense. Oh, you want me to look at your runes again, Winky? Winky yeah. Tingle. You're, no, you're... it's the hammer sense. Your hammer sense? Oh, you have runes? Yeah, no. I got new runes. <clears throat> All right. You can tell that the... Uh, it now has runes that indicate that the hammer seeks out doors and breaks them easier. Nice. Well, there you go. You got a hammer seeking door. Literally, hammer sense. You, you call it. The hammer it. scores a natural 20 equivalent critical on an 18 or higher versus doors. Mm -hmm. Wow. If, if it there's... has a chance when walking by a hidden door to seek it on its own. There you go. We... I, just thought, I just thought about it. If a mimic is a door, does that count? You don't know. You'd have to see if it's in your way. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. Because mm. it doesn't find doors that are wide open. And it doesn't matter whether it's locked or not. It matters if he perceives it to be an obstacle. What are you stabbing, Wiki? Uh, a frozen <laughs> drink. A door. <laughs> a <laughs> lot. <laughs> not breaking. Okay, well, I'll go well, ahead and shoot. I'm glad I was my... able to identify your uh, your hammer there, Winky. I'm glad I was able to do that. Sorry, Core, I tried. Um... It's okay, I tried to. All right, um, last... I noticed the lights are starting to go out faster now. Might... We might want to go ahead and leave now. Yeah, 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 it's time to go. Do we want to grab some of this basalt on our way out, or...? Um... I don't know what we would need it for. Crafters, do you guys want any basalt? Uh, we know where it is, but we need some. It'd be a long time before we get back here. I mean, I'll pick up a rock for, for uh, Atale. Okay. Uh, we we gotta go because uh, we gotta put that uh, that um, here lies the magma titan at the top. So oh, that's right. We gotta have some time to do that. So I don't want to just run out of here. We, yeah, we we'll, want to be respectful for this area. Yeah, we we can definitely take a, a few moments to pay respects as the light fades. We'll give our final regards. You're noticing it's starting to get brighter. That would be the magma. Let's move. Mm. Regards have been given. Maybe we should make steps. I'm going to slap a stone as I'm walking by, and would my uh, creation power be able to put an engraving? It'd take two rolls. Unless okay. you want to... If you're going to use an existing stone and engrave it, that's one roll, but if you're going to set up the thing and then engrave it, that's two. I'm just going to slap one of these basalt columns on the way out. Okay. All right, you managed to engrave it. All right, and engrave it. It is now about 150 degrees in here. <coughs> Time to go. It's a warming up. And core, you do not feel the heat in here. Ah, I feel fine, guys. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's it's hot. Ooh, if you're feeling heat, that's saying something. Well, I feel normal heat. I didn't feel the poles. I know, but... Me not feeling it 
to say something. Uh, I currently can't move. Apparently, I am stuck in a rock. You're in a wall. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. I just was moving my character. Go backwards. I can't move at all. There. I moved you. And now y'all are starting to see the heat increase. Yeah, so my... There's a pillar there. My arrow keys have stopped working as well. Do you have a wireless keyboard? No. Okay. I don't do anything wireless. Do you have your token selected? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I have it where it's the little four box thing and the person, so I don't know why okay. it's not working. If you play video games, you don't get wireless. What? Alright. Millisecond anyway. latency. As y'all make it up to the top of the entrance of the cave, you feel a blast of hot wind blowing from deep down below. Blowing? And magma is now rising. Let's go. Let's leave. Here comes the magma. And as it's rising, the lava's rising. Here you feel something. Put Ooh, down I the pause. Tone, the tone. I pause and, <clears throat> and face the feeling. Yeah. I'm running. It's hot. I'm hot. You can't see. <sighs> Who put down the tone at the top? Corey, are you doing that? I. Hold on, I sense something. What is it? We're about to die. This fire comes. Orm will be as it was before the fall. We have three days at best. Okay. That's it. One. We have three days. Four. That's confusing. Yes. It is. We leave. We leave. All right. So. You make it out of the dips. And you're in the cavern now, and the elementals are all in a frenzy. Are they rushing down or rushing up or just no longer More in? More elementals are coming out of the walls and heading down the cavern. Ooh, okay. Going to the fire and the magma, maybe. None of them looked uh, hazy-eyed anymore, right? No, none of them look hazy-eyed, and all of them look... <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll just let them be on their way. All right. You make it out of the cavern, and by the time you're exiting the, the entrance of the cavern, it's already about 100 degrees at the entrance. Yep, yep. And the area behind you is actually starting to boil the water that's back there, and steam is shooting out of the cavern now. Run! And there's a small quake as the area shakes. Mm. It's gonna blow! All right. So what do I do? Y'all are out of the cavern. Um, do an epic movie walk away from the explosion. Without yeah, looking back. <laughs> Just slow motion. Okay. Y'all walk away <laughs> and absolutely nothing happens but a few rumbles here and there. Epic. Well, they, we, we all have it in our brain. We know it actually happened <laughs> behind us. We know we know it happened. The rumbles, the rumbles tell us that it happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as y'all are leaving you notice the area behind you seems like it's about a foot higher than it used to be hmm. it's um ground getting higher a lot of the rubble from the city is starting to tumble and 
fall down from that last little shake. Does it seem like Orm is coming apart? Do I get a sense that that's uh, what they talked about is uh, Orm need it? before the fall? Make one of your dwarven jacks. Uh, as far as you understand of the lore of the earth and everything about it, these are the signs that a volcano is growing. Okay. I'll Magma is everybody. coming from deep underground and it's starting to upwell the surface. Hmm. Normally it would take anywhere from days to weeks to happen. Uh, guys, should we collect um, Atala and Eve and Yes. Get out of here as quickly as possible. Yes, and let me throw this one idea to you guys. Can we send some kind of beacon in the air to call the um, the Quelleth infected here? Maybe they could be at the epic center of the volcano when it erupts. Well, they're in a path south currently. Well, that's why we wanted to a flare of some kind of beacon in the air to call them here. At this point, they've probably gone far enough that they've exited Orm. Those cowards. Yesterday, they weren't out of the Orm yet. Yeah, they fled. Hmm. Okay. Then, uh, if that's the report <laughs> that we got, then, uh, yeah, let's, let's book it. Let's get the old door fired up. Do we want to, do we want to head to the giants, the giants encampment. Uh, it took it. It takes us. Might... No, we, we would have to use the portal network. Um, that would be. Crazy. And we have to yes, leave I by a gate. Do. I don't know if we remember. Well, we would have to figure out what portal went back to one of the exit gates, because we we jumped through one and then we walked a long ways. I think a couple of days it crossed. From from the other portal that got us here, but as far as uh, geographically, um, the giants were. To the... They were outside of Or Orm. Yeah, they they were just outside of Orm, but I, I don't know how big this volcano might possibly. Be. Yes. Um. I would like to warn them as as, as soon as possible. Is I can my... I can send a message to the grandmother. Grandmother giantess. Oh, that would you work. make it back to your camp, and the two of them were sitting there trying to wonder about the shaking. Hmm. Girls, time to pack your bags. Put your makeup away. You hear away. something in the rubble moving Ooh. off in the distance. Ooh, we might not have full three days. At best, at best, it's going to be a lot shorter. We need to go ahead and... You hear footsteps. Oh. Um, definitely going to look that way. We're here what? We're here what? Footsteps. Make a perception check, Cor. Footsteps? Yes. You see a figure come up over a pile of rubble and fall and roll down to the bottom. I'm going to go investigate that person. About halfway there, its head comes off and rolls down a little further. <gasps> Buddy, is that you? A car, get over here. Uh, what, what, what's going on? What you got? You may want to go check this guy out. His head just fell off. Well, if his head fell off, I don't know exactly what you want me to check. The body gets up and starts stumbling, looking for the head. Go help your buddy out. I'm gonna grab the thing you notice about it is it has a distinct limp. His one leg is shorter than the other. Mm. I uh, I'll go I'll go uh, help him. I'm gonna I'll go. I'm gonna pick. I already picked up the head. Do okay. You want me to put it back on the body. Uh, I'll go help. I believe him. this is our no, no. our buddy from. Uh... I think it's I think it's my old buddy. I thought it was uh Pim at first because the head came off, but it may be. Uh... Well, the limp throws it off. Or like, Prince yeah. Prince Ormandius with the limp. Yeah, with the limp. Yeah, yeah. You know, he had the smaller leg, and then the body's his... still going. I, I'll, I'll pick up his head and 
put it back on the body. I pass the head to Kor. Yeah, yeah. We got the it. skeleton right. looks around, looks at you, Kor, and op hands out a little box. I'll take it. Thank you. Does he... The skeleton turns around and starts wandering away again. Ah. Uh... And you hear yeah. a voice. That was awkward. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, I was oh, wondering yes. if you were. My magic works so much better now. I guess y'all did something. We did. We killed your not dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that why everyone in the castle died? Yeah, yeah. That's definitely, definitely the the reason. Yeah, it wasn't your dad. It was uh that assistant guy from. Stool, so. Oh, I did not like him. Yeah, so mm. he even made himself he look like your dad. Although he did teach me some cool magic before so, he disappeared. Okay, you don't have any like arms or legs or anything falling off because your sister um, was missing a few, and I didn't know if you were dying or if you were being a super lich king of the world, if you were still okay or not. I'm a little more dead than I used to be. Mm. Uh, but everything seems to be normal. Okay. You know, okay. for being a lich and all, but um, I guess that's who's banging on the door. I guess my sister's here. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, Maybe she I did say that she was going to go over there. She did say that she was going to go look for you. Oh, that's nice. Hey, uh, by the way, there are, I think there's like a whole colony of liches. You know, you may want to live there. Uh, you know, stay where you're at or go that way. I think they're kind of to your northwest. If you just follow the coast around, if you get to a fire scar, you've gone too far. But I think there's like a whole nation of um, liches. So. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I, cool. I mean, you're you're the king of them, right? So I just. I, I um. I do notice that I no longer have the ability to cut off pieces of myself and make new skeletons. That stinks. Yes. But I have figured out how to open a portal to a dark realm of madness, and I can bring out corpses of all kinds. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. Well. Do you still? Apparently, you still... something was interfering with my magic. Yeah. Do you uh, send them back when you're done looking at them? me Which king what do you think i'm doing right um it does concern me because it might kill me is it gonna kill me oh no you'll be okay you're fine friend okay just all, me my, or... new guys, all my new guys have a have an alert on them to make sure none of you little guys are hurt i like you guys y'all are funny okay hey uh by the way um to the south of orm there's probably that whole cult of bad people, the uh, the Quellif, you know, we talked all about the whole infecting thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if your buddies want to kill them, that would help us out. So, you know, if you come across mm. them, tentacles coming out of their heads them. or stuff, you know. But or, it's probably going to take me at least 100 years or so before I'm ready to do anything. And or, I think we have most of your life plans. Okay, you know, you know, put it on the to-do well, list. I guess the little dwarf man will be still alive and still grumpy. He probably Tell will. Tell him about the bacon. Uh, oh, uh, Carr is, you know, listening to my conversation. He wanted me to tell you about bacon and how it keeps ghosts away, so it's a thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. I wonder if I can use it to tame them. Maybe, maybe. I think we ate it all, so you may have to get some new bacon. I'll have to send someone to the store. Yes. Now that I can leave, I can send someone to the store. Mm. This is great. Yes. Although I'm dead again, so I can't eat anymore. So that stinks. Hmm. Well. Well, you can eat it, but you just can't taste it. <laughs> but what's the point of eating if you can't taste? Well, if you figure out how to restore yourself, or if you come across anybody that's, uh, you know, a descendant of a Kaminoan, let us know. Uh, I don't know if you're going to do some kind of researching on soul transfers. It's, a, it's Ooh, kind of a dark thing, okay. but, it, you know, dark stuff seems to kind of be your MO, so. I might have to look into that, see if there's any books in the family library. The library is uh, destroyed. But... No, we have one here. <gasps> hey, buddy, can I come over for a sleepover at some time? Uh, you might not want to right now. Some of the new undead are a little unruly until I get them in order. All right, well, uh. You know, send it through mail or a raven, you know, if you if you want. I'll be around. 
Well, uh, I sent you a gift. I'm assuming you got it because I... somehow this message started. Yes, I have this item. Uh, it's been placed in my hands now. I'll let you know when it's safe to use it, but I figured it might be something that could come in handy. You like those, uh, you, you know how the portal door thingies work, right? I'm not really up on them, but it was one of the ones from here. Ooh, awesome. Okay, well, just let me know when it's safe, and I'll come visit. I'll bring bacon. So that oh, that'd be wonderful. Maybe motivation to get it done sooner. I'll see what I can do. Outstanding. Did anyone right. at all take notes today? Because Hatala wasn't here, and it just hit me. No one nope. was taking notes. Hatala's going to have to just watch the video. <laughs> we'll make sure to timestamp this at whatever... Uh, it's not 61 hours. What is it? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll tell Hatala. She'll cry. All right. All right, cool. So we got a portal key. Nice. All right. Um, now here we have a question. We can stop here so that the fleeing of the town is committed then. Mm -hmm. Or I do have a little bit more before the fleeing part. I still would rather it be we wait for everyone to do the fleeing. I'm, I'm good with that. Um I'm good with getting things set up for the April turnover for you know starting a brand new chapter. So whatever you plans you need to do, just let us know. I'm fine with stopping if that's what we need to do. I would like to flee with everyone there. I think that would be beneficial for all of us mm -hmm. as a group. Okay. Uh, do you want to play a little bit more? Because I got a little bit more that doesn't have to have everyone, but the response to it probably does need to be when everyone's there. Yeah. Sure. Um, and uh, if we have time after this, uh, sending a message to the giantist. Yes. You can go ahead and do that now. Whoa, 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 yeah, that whoa, was whoa, my whoa, main whoa. concern. Is that, All right. You know, so you spend an hour volcano. sending a message. Yeah. <laughs> big volcano coming up, you know, a few kilometers. You know, big volcano. One, it's uh, after dinner time. You know, just finished eating. And everyone suddenly, it's like that big headache in their head. Hello, hello, excuse, excuse me, um, guys, I hey. told you I wouldn't be doing this much, but, uh, well, I have a favor to ask, and I've finally been able to get in touch with you. Hey. Oh, wait, you he can't hear us, I forgot. Oh, yes, why am I pausing expecting you to answer? All right, hold on, it's been too long since I've done this. Let me get my thoughts in a row. All right. Y'all are still up in the north, I'm assuming. If you're not, you can disregard all of this and let me know in a message. But uh, I've we're down in the south still, engaging the cultists. We've got them. They're mostly staying in their fortress now. Uh, apparently, they found something, and they are increasing their ranks, I think they may be preparing for a pitched battle. Uh, I do not like the sound of that, but we are working our way to increasing our numbers and everything. But one of my old friends was supposed to be sending a contingent of troops down here to help us, and I've heard the winter has been particularly unpleasant up there in the north. I have not been able to get in touch with my friend. He is at a training camp to the north of, uh, hold on, you can hear him flipping through pieces of paper. Um, oh, darn it, where is that map? Uh, let's see. Hold on one second while I actually pull up the map. Yeah, I, I jumped over <laughs> to the world map, in which Orm is not uncovered. Huh. Yeah, let me hold on for a second. There's also a Thanks weird, the Super weird the ray. Yeah. There's a weird what? We can see like down here. Oh, come on. 
see like I don't know if you can see my line on the world map but it's like a, a weird triangle shape going down this way oh because there's a connection over that way because remember this is where the portal le led this is the portal you found to the north where the fortress was the, the, the whole death incident for uh, Mo over here yeah yeah, but... No, right here. So this part of the map is opened up to y'all. Okay. Well, the problem is, is that down, you know, going southwest, there's like a big ray of openness for us. That wow. we haven't been on any boats to go that way. Oh wait, unless you revealed it for Eve's island that she lived from. No. What the heck is that? Hold on a second. Because we can see down here. Oh, one of the walls is the wrong kind of wall. Okay. Oh, you gotta love Forge. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were raided by uh, Super Kim Pop with six viewers. So oh, nice. say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey everybody. hey everybody, how are you doing? I'm glad you guys can come on over here and see what we're doing in this hairy little neck of the woods. Sure do appreciate you boys stopping by. Yeah, this this uh this episode was pretty much uh, filling the blanks, and because uh, we had some people missing, which is uh, Core and the debt last week, so they got to fill in the blanks of what they did while. The other part of the party did their thing last week, so we're pretty much all caught up. All right, but, I, reset, uh, I reset the fog of war on the world map. <clears throat> you should go back and watch uh, watch the vibe because uh, it was interesting. There's a lot that happened. It was cool stuff. Okay, so now that I've got the map reset, but two net ones in a row. That was exciting. Yeah, after a hero point, geez. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's something you see every day. Okay, not, unless I, you're watching us. I'm ready to get back to the end of it. Okay, okay. All right, let's do it. Eric's like uh, from going through the map. Uh, yeah, uh, Norland, Norland, and you have heard of it, Core. Okay. It is a town like three or four towns north of Jernikar, on the road. It's one of the most remote towns. Up this way. Okay the mountains and in fact you've heard of it because there is a legendary monastery there nice good i like it do you remember yes i do and there's also a military training camp outside the town too and apparently eric's friend is one of the head instructors of the military training camp and they had promised troops to go to the south, but something has happened at the school. No. So, core sweating bullets at this point. Um, so everyone's hearing this, and everyone can just kind of see his face just kind of goes pale at the mention of something going on up there. Core, are you you all right? No, we need to. We got to get to the monastery. Is, Why? I don't want to say anything about it yet. We just got to get there. All right. Well, let's do it. All right. Um, the area in question is you know it as the independent lands. They are not sworn to any kings. Mm-hmm. So they are the basically the free peoples of the north. Yeah, and you guys remember Kor saying that pretty much that uh, this was his hometown and that was the northernmost part of the northern kingdom. I think you're the only one on the map. Am I? Well, oh, no, no, everyone's there. Okay. Everyone except the Blinky is there. All right. Yep. Or is that everyone except for Mo is there? <laughs> uh, Mo is the only one still in the basalt caverns. Why don't you come on over and join us there, buddy? 
Hey, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Hey, whoa, we we made all that. Wow, that's new. Yeah, all of our all of our trips is new. Cool. And uh, I, if y'all notice, I added some more roads because the, a lot mm -hmm. of them weren't drawn out well. I figured out how to draw here in the forge. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I saw all the roads. I was like, ooh. But cool. uh, up here is the town that uh, Eric mentioned. Okay. It is most known for a monastery and a military college, basically. But um, he wants you to check it out if you can, because his friend, as he said, was supposed to lead about 30 or 40 battle-trained soldiers to the south to help with the army. Okay. And they're also supposed to be bringing a shipment of weapons that they got from the dwarves. Did uh, did he say in his message that he wasn't able to contact him anymore? Yes. Okay. He's not been able to contact him, and most of the people he knows to contact up there, no one seems to know what's going on. Okay. Because all he knows is the winter was especially harsh up there. Ooh, that does that's not good. I hope the worm didn't hit him as they were going back through. Ooh, that's a yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um if we have time I'll I'll sit down and try to try to make contact with someone up there. You don't know anyone up there. Oh. Other than one person. Yeah, that was the only person I was gonna try. But Okay. And it's a one way communication, so what are you sending? Um because you don't know how to get a response. Yeah. They don't know how to get a response. Right. Um, I heard something's going on. I'll be there soon. Okay. All right. So it is now late in the evening. And probably everyone should go to bed. And in the morning, we will head out, head out with the new team with everybody. All right. All right. Sounds, yeah, good. sounds good. Awesome. So All right. Everyone, it has been fun with this stream. Uh, mm -hmm. Some announcements, though, before we go. Uh, we are streaming with Dirk Dork, and in April we will be kicking over to a new, uh, a new channel, so to speak, within Twitch. Um, so... Be on the lookout. We'll be posting some stuff. We do have a uh, a Discord, so feel free to drop uh, any questions in the chat. Uh, maybe I can get a card to throw in a link to our Discord where we uh, talk about all things Pathfinder and role playing and games and life in general. So no pressure, hey, car. No pressure. In this. Hey, let me. Our games normally <laughs> run till ten, if you don't know. Mm -hmm. But because we're not not got everybody with us, we're going to be stopping early because we're at a point now in the story where we need everyone to be there. Everyone, everyone. All right. Well, uh, a car is it going to mess you up at all if if we cut it? Uh, well, I was going to throw the thing in the chat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It. Okay, yeah, let me it. let me see if I can I grab it real quick. Yeah, you, you had to grab the, the the Discord link. I haven't made that yet. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> normally, normally you can go hashtag Discord, but you have to have it already preset. Mm. So, or exclamation point Discord. I don't have it set yet. You throwing me off, man. Come on, you weren't prepared for this. No, nope, it was not. Not a, not at all. Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't copy that. I got it. Invite friends to oh, to okay. the Discord and paste it in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nadep got it. Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the invite to the general, so it should allow us to allow them in. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll Sweet. Copy that. That's going to go into a stream element so that you can do the hashtag or the uh, exclamation point Discord, and then I'll throw it up. Yes. 
And in the future, we do have plans to improve our streaming, and we're working on getting a basic, the equivalent of a battle camera, instead of having to look through an individual's point of view, we'll be able to see everyone's point of view, and it'll actually zoom in in combat, and it's supposed to do everything nicely once we figure out how to make it work. <laughs> yes, yeah. we're constant improvements. Awesome. We are going to try to do that next week. We're going to have to hash that out for you. Next week or next two weeks. Alrighty. What are the two? We're going to have it soon. To come. All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Guys. Thanks for the thanks for the raid. Thanks for dropping in. Love you guys so much. Yeah. See you next time. Later. Yeah.